Hey guys, I'll show you how to make a voice browser app using Tasker. So let's get started. First, we'll create a new project. Let's name it browser. Then we're gonna create a new scene. We're gonna name it browser. Then let's edit its properties a bit. And in subtitle, you can give it by your name. After that, we're going to create a new web view element, which is source is going to be google.com. Because it's going to first load google.com, and then whatever we will say will be loaded later. And make sure you tick all of them. And set it as the background. Set as background, yes. Okay. Then we're going to create a new image. The image will be this voice image. I took a screenshot from the Google app and cropped it. Then when we will tap it, it will first get voice, get a voice. Then it will first it will destroy scene. So destroy scene, destroy scene browser. And then it will get voice and then it will um, show scene. Show scene. And then activity, full window, no bar, and it won't show an exit, exit button. And then at the end, it will use the web element web control to load the URL, which is going to be percentage voice. Because in get voice, whatever we say will be stored in this variable. So let's try it. I won't be recording my microphone because they both don't work at the same time. Let's create a new task. Let's name it bro or whatever. Then we're going to create a new action that will show scene and the scene will be of course browser without the exit button and let's try it. Okay guys, as you have seen, this is very easy to make. Now I'm going to export it as an app. So first let's choose an icon. I've chosen an applications icon called Android Auto. Then we're going to export it as an app. Export as app. Then package name should contain two dots, minimum two dots with three words. And the other is your wish. I gave it whatever came in my mind. You might turn on the advanced configuration and turn on the debug version so that it makes cache file, it makes data file, and it works smoother and faster. And then click on the back button to start exporting as an app. Then we're gonna click on the Android icon over here and then install this app, and it will work just fine. So thank you guys that was all, please subscribe in my channel and please like my video and stay tuned for more, thank you.